the science behind swearing. You can have them stick their hand in ice water and hold it there for a long time. There have been a bunch of studies where you assign people randomly to either swear or say words that are not swear words. Brown, chair, whatever. It turns out that the people who are randomly assigned to swear can hold their hands in the water about 50% longer and report substantially lower pain subjectively. You'd imagine that in lots of dimensions of athletic performance where pain is a limiting factor in what you're able to get your body to do, swearing might actually make it easier to push through whatever that limitation is. He's suggesting that swearing is also kind of a performance-enhancing drug. <laughs> It can increase your pain tolerance. They did like the Gom Jabbar test in Dune and yes. let people swear. <laughs> and the people that swore were like, we're good. And the people who were like, fear is the mind killer, were they were actually not so good. He's saying that swearing releases adrenaline and adrenaline is this hormone that your body releases in these types of situations. And it causes an increase of blood flow to your extremities. It increases your pupil dilations. These are things that could advantage drivers during races. And the more adrenaline you have in your body, the more you might swear. If you've ever been in a high stress situation, you probably are familiar with the feeling of that situation ending, but you still have like the same amount of adrenaline coursing yes. through you. You don't just get to well, flip I, a switch and all of a sudden you're just not stressed anymore. 